Hey guys, what's going on? DuffKing56 here, back to continue our Let's Play of Nier Automata. Welcome, welcome back. If you remember last time, we were just nestled in Pascal's village here, ready to go back to head and help with the assault that is currently going on right now where we live. And that would just be a horrible thing if we allowed that to continue, so we need to go back. And if you remember, from Route A, we have to go and defeat the Goliath tier monster that is going to ravage if we don't go back to the camp. ま、so let's head and board our flight units, which is way, way, way over here. We actually have to head to the top of the building in which we arrived when we first got back to the resistance camp, if I remember correctly. But on top of that, we also have to dodge all of these missile barrages that are coming from the large goliaths that are attacking here. But those won't be too bad, because as long as we keep running forward, I don't think we'll have much of an issue. <laughs> so let's do exactly that. Run ourselves forward as fast as we can. I don't think we need to do anything back at the resistance camp. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Alright, that was close. But nonetheless, we can run at... Ooh. Oh no, I remember. We have to go back and go the super long way around, because that way is blocked off. I remember I had an issue last time trying to navigate my way around the world. But it's okay, I got my head up now so I can pay attention to these things here. I would actually like to hop on a moose here, but that is just out of the question right now. I don't think his legs will be any much of a difficulty here as long as we pay attention here. And since he ain't moving, we can groove right back over towards the building. Now, where the hell do- oh, we just go right into the bottom here. Okay, and now comes the most difficult part of this quest, which is platforming. Oh boy, right? I know it's my weakest, I guess, quality. <laughs> Mostly just because I'm not very adept at it. But it looks like we have a stairwell for most of the part here. Did I completely miss this last time? It honestly wouldn't surprise me if I did. And <laughs> made things a lot harder on myself by trying to jump through these cracked and broken walls. <laughs> So of course I missed it, right? Of course I would do that. Ooh, and he has a name too. His name is Angles. So now we get to have fun hacking the brother. Doing as much damage as we can here. Last time, I don't know why it seems like 9S has all the cool parts, right? He gets to enjoy all the names of the actual enemies that we're fighting. I don't know why that's the case here. Actually, let's just, let's just keep hacking him. It's probably the best way to do things here. He's gonna go down very easily as long as we are on top of our game. And even though I haven't had hacking warm-up yet today, I think I've been doing pretty well so far. I've only died, I think, once or twice. Of course, I've taken my fair bit of lumps. But that is just what goes with the territory, you know? Oh, okay, yep. You have to be a little bit more careful with that. We can still do damage when we can, but unlike the Cinderella boss, we are, well, I, I guess we should use her name now that we know it's Simone. The, unlike Simone, we can hack this guy right from the start, which is good for our ploy here. And it's really not that difficult, you know. Ooh, just gotta make sure we dodge here as best as we can. As long as we keep shooting near us, I think we will knock out most of the projectiles that would be giving us an issue. Oh wow, it's so weird the hack meter disappeared when he moved backwards, but we still had credit for it, so I guess it's not too bad of a deal. I thought I dodged that, but I guess I didn't. Odd. Let's go get our flight units, let's hop on in.
low altitude it is. We got ourselves a flying mission here. And we leveled up, which is nice. We actually were a higher level than Engels at that point. That's very interesting. Wait a second. That's odd. I just realized that isn't Frederick Engels a philosopher? Aren't the names of a lot of characters that we have to fight or have quests with or deal with named after philosophers? I don't know. That's kind of an interesting thing that I didn't even think too much about here. Let's get our missile to kill him here. Of course, he's very easy since we're doing 12 damage a pop. I think we were only doing 6 damage last time. Beautiful, perfect dodge for us there. I don't think we can hack from this mode here. No, nope, we cannot. That's unfortunate. Oh, maybe we can hack. Perfect. We actually can hack the dude. Which makes it a lot easier for us to do more combined damage. Actually, we're doing pretty much just as much damage with our our weapons here. But, I mean, hacking is part of the 9S gameplay style. So I might as well do that, you know? Experience Route B to the fullest. Instead of holding right bumper in this mode, we can just hold right bumper in uh, the hack mode, you know? <laughs> That's one way to think about it, I suppose. Let's get our final hack in on angles here. Let's see if we can do away with both of these Goliath-class machines. And then we can get onto the alien signal part, and that's where I think things are really going to start to pick up for the story, and we're going to start seeing the most differences. Uh-oh, we have aliens. Now, I'm wondering if those Goliath-class machines were connected to the network and Adam and Eve were calling them to bring them forth. I don't know though, it should be something that we should think about, like how is all this connected to the network? Oh boy, this is a little bit more of a tougher hack that we have here. Interesting. I don't know if breaking the barriers is actually the best idea. At least all the barriers that we can here. Ooh, let's just dodge out of this guy because he's about to probably blow up on us. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. So, I don't know, there's just like a bunch of things that we can think about here with the story and how everything relates to the network because... Ah, oh, damn. I wanted to see if we can get up to that area because it looks like our quest was actually right on the top of that building. I remember struggling with that a while ago. So let us just continue back towards the... I believe is the resistance camp we have to go back to, right? Oh no, the flooded area where the alien readings are, so we can go and actually do that pretty much immediately. Um, yeah, I, it's going to be, I think, very telling to see what 9S's part of the story is. 
What 9S's point of the story is going to be with this Adam and Eve because we seem to have a greater amount of intel with them. And that I think will be most interesting because if he has more intelligence than I'm gonna first of all I'm wondering why 2B doesn't have that same intelligence, and second of all, I'm wondering why or what it what that extra intelligence is going to be, so. I don't know. I mean, it's just things to think about as we go along here. And I think we're going to be much better now at defeating the flying worms because we can actually hack them. And that makes my life a lot easier, I promise you. Can we actually... Ooh, we can't hack them. We're, there's like a big fight here and I'm like losing a lot of frame rate and I don't know why actually. I don't know. <laughs> I guess that's something to think about. Why? Why is my frame rate low? All I want to do is get to this alien signal. Okay, well, we blew up one there. That's good for us here. Beautiful. We got a, ooh, we got a shot in there. Yeah, okay. We have to focus on one enemy, I feel like, because... Oh, boy. We can't do any damage to him. We can hack him, though, so that's where we're going to be doing a brunt of our damage, of course. Oh, boy. We just have to stay on the right side of the thing we're supposed to shoot there, and I think we'll be okay in the long run. Dodge right away. Okay, good. Don't want to get hurt by the worm. Ooh, boy. Okay. Just be a little bit more tactical to our approaches here, and I think we'll just be fine. Oh, okay. Well, that hurts. I'd love to have a counter hack. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Jeez, man, there's like a bunch of stuff to kill on both sides of me here, but I think we've actually seen this pattern before, so I shouldn't be too worried about that there. One of these days we're going to go into the arcade and see how long we can last with the current, um... Ooh, we got our perfect dodge there. That's nice. Okay. Slowly whittling down our enemies here. Crap. Oh, we got one. I'm gonna go blow you up. These guys are way, like, leveled higher than we are, and I still don't understand how the scaling quite works, because some areas, they're right on par with us, and other areas, they're not. And I'm guessing side quests really will make the difference, so that's something to think about, of course. Okay, cool. Let's actually pick up any chips that we would have lost here. I don't want to lose any, because they could be good in the future for our upgrade, or at least our ploy to upgrade. All right, let's finish off hacking this dude here. Can we please hack? There we go. All right, all right, all right. We'll finish it off, buddy boy. Keep working. Can be a little bit more quick here. Well, maybe not now, because we don't want to get fucked. <laughs> of course we got fucked. <laughs> go figure. Yeah. All right, come on. We've done this before. Okay, well, clearly we haven't done this before. New patterns suck. There we go. Got on the wrong side of him, but we're going to slowly beat him out. I'm gonna beat another large enemy for us here. Get some mighty good intels or chips possibly from him. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case, which I guess makes sense. Okay, so. Let us keep going down towards exactly where, where we are supposed to go here, which is down, down into the water. And I believe we get our fast travel after this? That would be the most ideal situation here if we do get our fast travel eventually. Of course, we don't have our save point down here, which makes the most sense. But let's grab this body, actually, since we have the opportunity to do so. And we will retrieve whatever it has for us. Maybe it will give us like an auto heal chip or something. That would be preferable. We did heal ourselves up. So that's good. Interesting. Okay, so we're now in... Yeah, the hallway does look kind of odd, but let me tell you what's odd. The fact that we're not doing like any damage to these dudes with our laser. But then again, we probably have not leveled it up too much, which is fine. It's no big deal. We're doing a fair amount of damage with our range attack, actually, which is really nice to see. Oh, okay. Yeah, you get in there, 2B. I would prefer that, actually. There we go. 
I don't mind doing the finishing blow, that is. Okay, so we are heading towards the alien signal, which is kind of looks like a server room almost when you get to the right spot, which I think is kind of cool. Oh boy. Nice dodge, nice dodge. Of course, we still get hit by the drill dude, which is uh, no surprise. Let's see what a hack on him looks like. Try to hack as many enemies as possible. It's just a normal hack. Easy peasy. Hopefully he'll give us a nice chip, though. We got critical up, which is good for us. I wonder if critical counts as the perfect combo, but I'm not quite certain on that yet. Oh, hi. Gotta be very careful here. We'll just hack them both because it seems to be the best way to mitigate damage. I don't want to take any damage before we get to Adam and Eve. Just back up here. Hack the last dude. Wow, that went really quick, which is good. Give me some chips. Crush nut. Alright. I suppose that's okay. I don't know exactly what that does, but maybe it allows us to upgrade our pod eventually. Which would be kind of cool. So, let us make haste. Get to the server room with Adam and Eve. It just looks so weird. You know what? I think an even better idea would be to give you more time next episode to totally take in Adam and Eve. So I will stop here and catch you guys in the next episode of my Let's Play of Nier Automata. See you guys next time. This has been Duffigan56. Peace out.